Namaste. I'm Dr. Robert. And on this edition of Five-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, my subject is the sense organs and how to care for them. Because a well-cared-for sense organ is a sense organ that will serve you well. There is one word that describes, in general, the best way to care for sense organs, and that is sneha. Sneha means both oiliness and love. So you should have an appreciation for the sense organs, which are, after all, the chief ways in which you are able to take in things from your environment. And you should apply oil to them, oil and or ghee. So let's go one sense organ at a time, starting with the sense organ of sound, that is the ear. Of course, an important aspect of working with sense organs is not to overuse, underuse, or misuse them. So going to a loud rock concert is overusing your sense organ, keeping them stuffed up with um, earplugs so that you never listen to anything would be underusing it, and listening to bizarre things would definitely be misusing it. Don't do any of that kind of thing. And occasionally, um, do put oil into your ear. I personally like to just put a little bit of oil on my pinky finger and apply it into each external auditory meatus, just like that. Um, but it, it is desirable occasionally to put a couple of drops of oil, um, and you would like very much, if at all possible, to use oil that has been medicated with something because then you get the benefit of that herb that it's medicated with. Um, there are, uh, in, in Ayurveda, bilva is a common herb for medicating oil. In the West, uh, mullein flowers are a common used, uh, commonly used for medicating oil to go into the ear. So a little bit of oil in the ear. This is a useful thing. Next comes a sense of touch. That's your entire body. And oil, a good thing to do is a bianga, a bianga. That means all the angas, all the limbs of your body. Just a thin layer of oil. You can apply a lot if you want to, but then you're going to have to remove it somehow. And this is going to cause you um, uh, enough of a challenge that you may then be asking yourself why you're doing it and stop doing it. Don't start doing that so that you don't stop doing that. Instead, just apply a thin layer of oil, then get into the shower and the hot water. You won't even, if it's thin enough, you won't even need soap. <clears throat> you will open up your pores. The oil will go into it and then... Uh, all of that oiliness and stickiness will go away. <clears throat> um, and it's very good to apply oil to your hair at least once a week. Apply more oil to your hair. Let it sit for at least half an hour. And then, uh, knowing that you're going to have to shampoo it two or three times to get all the oil out, then take all the oil out. <clears throat> so that's the sense of touch. The sense of sight. Again, oil in the eye. Um, about once a week, uh, a drop of uh, castor oil is very good. Uh, ghee is also good in the eyes. In addition for the eyes, it's very handy to do trataka, uh, which assists the maintaining a qu high quality of tejas in the eye. So you put a flame like of a candle or a deep uh, earthenware lamp at arm's length at eye level, stare at the tip of the flame, they say, until uh, the, you start to, tears start to come from your eyes. But even if you do it for just two or three minutes, it will definitely have a good effect. Uh, we now come to the uh, senses of smell and the sense of taste. And for smell, again, uh, anu talum is a great thing to put into your nose. It's also very good to use the neti pot. Keep uh, flushing out the sinuses so that there will not be any obstruction, so you'll be able to smell clearly. In the case of taste, make sure that you keep your, your teeth clean. Make sure that you uh, you do oil pulling, or that doesn't actually exist in Ayurveda per se, but you could do gandusha, kavala graha, where you uh, gargle with oil, hold oil uh, uh, in your mouth. Just apply oil so that there is some good opportunity for all the 
um, uh, all, all, all of the, subs, uh, the surfaces in the mouth to get oil associated with them. And do not forget to clean your teeth with your tongue scraper, pulling from the back to the forward to get rid of all of the accumulated biofilms and members of the oral microbiome, uh, so that especially in the morning, so that you'll be able to have that sense of taste work as efficiently as possible. This is Dr. Robert wishing everyone a happy experience of their sense organs.